The aim of this problem is to calculate the maximum power delivered to an ideal basic circuit element and also the total energy that is delivered to the circuit element. The circuit element is shown here. The voltage and current, the voltage and current expressions are shown here. So both voltage and current are zero for time t less than zero and for time t greater than zero both voltage and current involve product terms of pro, uh, linear term t and exponential terms and this makes the resulting math a little bit more complicated but conceptually the steps are the same as in similar examples solved earlier in this channel. So let's get started with solving this problem. The first step is to write the expression for the instantaneous power. So the instantaneous power P of T is given by the product of the voltage and the current. We need to decide the sign of this power calculation using the passive sign convention. We can see that the reference current is entering the terminal marked positive. So we use this expression with a positive sign. Once this step is done, next we just need to substitute the values. So this is the voltage is as follows. And the current is as follows. And if you multiply this out and simplify, we get this term. So we have two t's here which give t squared. And when we multiply the exponentials, exponential terms, the exponents add. So we get e raised power minus 1000 t. In order to find the time at which the power delivered to the circuit element is maximum. We first find the derivative of the instantaneous power and then we set it to zero and solve for the time. So let's get started. We first need to find the derivative of the instantaneous power. So I'm just going to write the constant term first and then we need to differentiate the product of t squared and e raised power minus 1000 t. This can be done using the differentiation product rule. So the product rule says that if we are differentiating the product of two functions then this is equal to differentiation of the first multiplied by the second and add to it the first function and multiply it with the differentiation of the second. So we can use this chain rule and solve this differentiation. So what we get is so here uh, when we differentiate the first term we get 2t and then e raised power minus 1000t and then here we get t squared and when I differentiate e raised power minus 1000 t, you get minus 1000 e raised power minus 1000 t. So this can be simplified and sh we can show that we get this term. Next, we need to set this 
term equal to zero and solve for t. So setting this term equal to zero and then we solve for t. So what we get is minus and this is equal to zero. So if you have a graphics or a programmable calculator, you can use that to solve this equation. Uh, you can also use um, Wolfram Alpha or any online resource. Uh, here I'm just going to solve it by hand. So we just move this term to the other side. So what we get is So now the exponential term cancels out and then we just have t and t squared. So this gives 2 into 10 raised power minus 3 is equal to t. So hence t is equal to 2 milliseconds. So this means the power delivered to the circuit is maximum at 2 milliseconds. And then to find the value of this maximum power, all we need to do is set t is equal to 2 millisecond in this instantaneous power expression. So this simplifies to 2 milliseconds squared e raised power minus 1000 multiplied by 2 millisecond. And this term simplifies to 4.8 e raised power minus 2. And then this gives the value of 0.6496 watt. So this is the maximum uh, value of the power delivered to the circuit element. Next, we move on to the second part, which is to find the total energy delivered to the circuit. So we know that the energy delivered is related to the instantaneous power as follows. So the energy is integrate the instantaneous power from initial time to some final time t. And in order to find the total energy, we set upper limit to infinity and t naught to zero. So voltage and current are zero for t less than equal to zero. So this gives us zero to infinity. And then we substitute the value of the instantaneous power. And here uh, we just change the variable of integration. So tau squared e raised power minus 1000 tau d tau. Now again, if you have a programmable or a graphics calculator or using a suitable internet resource, you can solve this integration um, and get the answer. For this video, I'm just going to solve it by hand. And in order to solve this, we actually need uh, this identity that integral t squared e raised power a t dt this is equal to e raised power a t multiplied by a squared t squared minus 2 a t plus 2 divided by a cube. So we need this integration identity to solve the integration. So in our case, A, A is minus 1000. So we can uh, substitute and solve. So what we get is, I'm just going to move this constant term out. And 
and then we're just going to use this identity and replace the terms. So e raised power 80 becomes e raised power minus 1000 tau and then a squared t squared. So we just need to replace the values. So that's minus 1000 squared tau squared minus 2t becomes 2 tau a is minus 1000 and then plus 2 and in the denominator we have minus 1000 cube and the limits of integration are 0 to infinity. So before we substitute we can just do a bit of simplification so this becomes 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 3 and the term inside is e raised power minus 1000 tau and 10 raised power 6 tau squared plus 2000 tau plus 2. Now when we substitute the limits because when we substitute the upper limit e raised power minus infinity makes this whole term 0. So what we get is minus 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 3 0 and then when you substitute the lower limit e raised power 0 is 1. So what we get is 1 and then here this becomes 0 plus 0 plus 2. So when we do the substit uh, substitute the lower limit we have to have a minus sign here and then this when you simplify just gives this value. So this is 2.4 millijoules. So this gives us the final answer. We have calculated the maximum power delivered to this circuit element and also the total energy delivered to the circuit element.